An Eastern Shore home burned to the ground, leaving a mother to rely on family and friends for a place to sleep. Attending your side's Aaron Kelly learned new information on what sparked the fire and what is being done in the community to help the family. The fire burned the home down to its foundation. The fire chief says the family was out shopping and came home to find it like this. These photos from a Ted on your side viewer show the intensity of a fire that took everything from an Eastville family just one day after Christmas. When we pulled out from the station, we could see the glow in the sky. It's only approximately half a mile from the station, uh, and we can see it over top of the trees as we arrive. Chief David Eater says about 45 firefighters from agencies across the eastern shore responded to Stumptown Drive around 8 Monday night. At first, they didn't know if anyone was in the house. We knew that there was a uh, young lady and two young children in the home. We were not able to locate them in the very beginning, which was quite hectic. But uh, later on, as the fire progressed, we were able to uh, have them brought back to the scene. They were not home at the time. Chief Eater says they got the fire under control in a half hour. Later, the family came home to what little was left. It's uh, quite a setback when you arrive. When you go to go shop and you come back home, your home's gone. So she was it was quite traumatic for her. Investigators believe the fire was electrical and may have been caused by a space heater. We would like uh, any assistance uh, in reference to anything that could be donated or done, done for this family. The chief says the fire company has its own thrift store and the family can go there and get what they need for free. If you'd like to help, contact the Eastville Volunteer Fire Company. In Northampton County, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.